Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, adjust the widget of a widget bar module so that it looks as if it is spanning uh, two modules. As you can see here, uh, this entire thing is a widget in the widget bar module that is at the bottom here but using some um, CSS we can uh, you know basically reduce the widths of the sections at the uh, in the top module uh, move them to the left and then you know position this so that it appears as if it is spanning the two horizontal rows okay so let's recreate this I'm gonna open my test site which is running on my local host For simplicity's sake, I'm going to use the default child theme, but this method works in any child theme. So I've just created a page having the title widget boxes and after this I'm going to create a layout with the same name I mean the name can be anything and I'm gonna come back to this page and assign that layout to this page so let's go to my theme and layouts and I'm going to edit that widget boxes layout and I don't want a content module in that so I can get rid of that I'm going to add a module below the uh, existing widget bar and I let it have four columns and save the layout go back to all the pages edit this page and I've, um, I'm gonna send widget boxes layout to this okay so when I view this page it appears like this this is the first top top um, module which has three sections three columns and this is the uh, widget bar module at the bottom which has four sections so 
let's uh, yeah so what we do is let's get the uh, widths of each of these four sections so I'm gonna bring Fairbuck and start inspecting okay So this was the first column, this was the second column, this is the third column, and this was the fourth column. So as we can see, um, the width is 240 pixels, width and max width, both the properties. So we're going to make a note of this value, and we're we going to apply this particular value uh, as a width to the sections here in the top module. So I'm going to inspect this box here so this happens to be builder module sidebar outer wrapper so that is the one of the common classes for all the sections so this particular div has the class builder module sidebar outer wrapper this div also has the same class and this div also has the same class so since I want to set a width to all these three sections inside of a module having this ID we can basically construct the CSS where is it here like this Okay, now just writing like this is not going to work because as you can see if you go here, go back here and observe here the 240 what we wrote in the style.css is going to be overwritten or overridden by the uh, style declarations which are in line. So what we have to do is we have to use the important declaration. like that so now the width of each of these three sections in the top module have become 240 pixels which is the same as the width of these sections below okay so now our objective is to move this third section to the left over here so let's see why it has moved to the right side okay so as you can see, let's start from here, yep. So this div has uh, a class right and it is said to have, it's set, uh, it's having float right property and that is the reason why it is going to the right side. So all we have to do is So here we are saying that uh, look at any div or any element having a class of right inside this particular module and we are floating it to the left so that this section comes to the left. Okay. Alright. And for what we are trying to do, it will make more sense if there is no gap between these two modules. Currently these two have are separated and let's see why this is happening. Okay, so when I put my mouse over on this particular um, entire module div, we can see there's a LO region. LO indicates margin. So let's remove that uh, bottom margin for that module. So so you know uh, both these modules now are look as if they're combined there's no space between them okay so now we have to move this particular section here okay 
So the way to do it is to basically make this section uh, or make this particular widget's position as absolute and we have to set the position of one of its parents as relative. Okay, so let's inspect this widget. This is the ID of the widget. So I'm going to copy that. And I want its position to be absolute. Okay. So when you when you make the position of any element as absolute, it's it's a good practice uh, to specify its width. Otherwise, it's gonna basically fill whatever is available, um, you know, in its container. Okay, now, so as you can see, this is, uh, hang on, okay. I've just observed the width of uh, uh, the widget over here and that happens to be 222 pixels that would be the same width uh, for this widget and this widget as well so I go to set this to 222 okay that's better okay so now Okay, so uh, the widget, this particular widget is inside a particular module and that module itself is under a div uh, having a class of builder container. So this entire uh, thing that you see, the uh, 960 pixels wide, uh, this is the builder container outer wrapper which contains the uh, div having a class of builder container. So what we want to do is basically set the position of this particular div as relative so that whatever we have absolutely positioned, in this case uh, this particular widget, uh, you know, it will become relative to, the, to that container. So when we set The position of builder container as relative and we specify the top as 0 notice how it's disappeared it has gone uh, here it has gone relative to the container okay so now all we have to do is we have to increase the value of the top so that it lines up and goes to the position where we want it to appear. So let's make it uh, 180, 160. Okay, that looks fine. Okay. So now, when you edit this widget and add some text, it's gonna completely, you know, go down and it will look as if it is spanning a two horizontal modules okay so let me just copy the css and put it in my editor style.css at the end <clears> 
Okay. So this would be two four, right? Okay. Okay, um, you, you see what happened is that when I added the content, when I dragged a text widget into this widget area, uh, the div's ID has changed and that's the reason why our CSS was not working. Okay. So there you go. Um, so essentially, the summary of this method is that um, you're gonna uh, you're gonna you know put this particular uh, uh, entity which you want to span across multiple modules in the bottom module as one of the widgets, and you have to reduce the width of the sections in the upper modules so that uh, they are they are the same as the width of the sections in the bottom module and then you have to float the rightmost section to the left and then you got to set the position of this widget as absolute give it a width and you have to set uh, one of its parents in this case I have chosen builder container as position as position as relative and you got to give the top uh, property uh, value to zero so that initially to so that this particular uh, absolutely position widget goes and you know sits right at the top of uh, the relatively position parent and then you have to give increase the value of this top property so that this widget gets pushed down and stays at the position where you want it to appear. Okay, uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Bye.